Hi everybody and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. Happy to have you here. Let's get ready to do some yoga. Unroll your mat, grab props if you'd like to use them. I'll give you a few seconds to get those things and I'll see you right back here. We'll begin our practice today in child's pose. Come on to hands and knees. Separate the knees, toes together. Feel free to reach the arms straight out front. Option to turn the palms up if you like. Option to bring the palms together in prayer. Bend the elbows. Reach the thumbs back opening up the shoulders a little more. Modify any part of your practice as you see fit. Breathe. Focus. Setting up a nice steady tempo with the breath, keeping it going in and out through the nose as best you can. Option to fire up your ujjayi breath. And reaching the arms straight forward again if they're not already. Walk your hands toward the right edge of the mat. Place your left hand over the right. Relax the shoulders back. Walk your hands back through center. Go the other way. Walk the fingertips to the left edge of the mat. Right hand over the left, melt the shoulders back and breathe. Coming back to center, come up to hands and knees, bring the knees in a little, then come forward and lay all the way down on the belly, slide the arms out to the sides like airplane wings, roll onto the right side, Step your left foot behind you. You can rest your left hand wherever it's comfortable. Relax the head down. Coming back through center, go the other way. Roll onto your left arm with the left arm reaching out. Step the right foot behind you on the mat. Relax the right hand, right arm where it's comfortable and just soften the head down. Come back to center, slide the hands into opposite sides of the chest, lift into high cobra, keep the knees on the mat, line up the shoulders over the wrists, open the heart forward. Release back to a brief child's pose. Come back to hands and knees, we'll thread the needle. Inhale, the right arm reach it high. Exhale, thread under the left side, bring your right shoulder as far down to the mat as it'll go. Walk your left fingertips up along the mat, coming into a twisting shape. Come back out, return to hands and knees and go the other way, lifting the left arm high. Thread under the right side, looking toward the right. Walk the right fingertips up along the mat. Releasing out, come back to center. Let's take it to downward facing dog. Feel free to walk out your feet in the first down dog of the day if that feels good, pedaling out the heels. Put a little bend in the knees, look forward, then walk or lightly hop your feet to the front of the mat. Ragdoll pose, taking hands to opposite elbows, Option to nod the head or sway a little side to side if that feels good. 
Switch the hand so the opposite hand is on top. Let the arms relax toward the floor, then slowly roll all the way up to stand. Let the head come up last, soften the shoulders back, stand tall. Big inhale, sweep the arms around, Urdhva Hastasana, reach. Exhale, Uttanasana, dive over the legs and fold. Head up, left foot back, right foot back to plank. Lower Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Meeting in downward facing, option to take child's pose if you prefer. Three deep breaths. Soften a bend in the knees, look forward. Step or hop the feet to the front. Chest up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Keep the feet a few inches apart for a modified chair. Put a bend in the knees, sit deep, sweep the arms up, then sweep the arms back, lift the heels, balance on the toes. Drop the heels down, sweep the arms up for chair, one more. Sweep the arms back, lift the heels, balance on the toes. Lower the heels, arms up for chair. Dive over the legs, head down. Step the left foot back for warrior one. Spin the back heel down, press through, reach the arms overhead. Interlace fingers and press the palms up. Option to look up at the backs of the hands. Press the palms straight forward, sweep the arms behind you, warrior three, lift the back leg up and fly forward. Warrior two, left leg back, heel down, reach the arms out, look over the right hand. Reverse the warrior, right arm over, Side angle, Parsva Konasana, right arm down. Feel free to reach it all the way to the floor, left arm over. Or you can rest the right elbow on the thigh. Maybe wrap the left arm around the lower back in a little half bind. Chest up, relax the right shoulder away from the ear and hold, looking toward the left. Look down, lower the hands to the inside of the right foot Skandasana, back of the mat as you bend deep through the left knee. Stretch the right leg. Come to center, lift the hips up. Wide-legged fold, prasarita. Feet are parallel, hang over the legs. You can keep the hands down. You can walk the hands out front if you like. Maybe just bend at the elbows interlacing fingers, resting the forearms on the mat, or any variation you like. We'll meet in the center, hands down, chest up. Travel to the back of the mat, low lunge, pivot, face the back of the room. Warrior one, spin the right heel, the back heel, 45 degree angle, sweep the arms over and up. Interlace fingers overhead, press the palms up, look up if you can. Press both palms straight forward, setting up warrior three, sweep the arms behind you, right leg lift it up, fly forward and soften the shoulders back. Warrior two, step it back nice and easy, right leg back, foot flat on the floor, reach out. Straighten the left leg and turn the arms for triangle trikonasana, left arm down, right arm high. Look right, look up if you can. Look down at the left foot, lower the hands to the inside of the left foot, Skandasana, go to the right, bend deep through the right knee, stretch the left leg. Prasarita Padatanasana, come to center, wide-legged fold, hips up, head down, hands down. 
Maybe walk the hands behind you this time. Maybe hold on to the outer edges of the feet or any other variation you choose. We'll meet in center, hands on the mat, head up, chest up. Travel to the front again for low lunge, facing forward, down dog, step back. Option to hold or flow through your plank, chaturanga, upward facing, meeting in downward facing. One more breath. Look forward through the hands and walk or float the feet to the front. Chest up on the inhale. Exhale, fold over the legs. Keep the feet a few inches apart. Utkatasana, modified chair, arms up. Sweep the arms behind you. Lift the heels, balance on the toes. Heels down, sweep the arms up for chair. One more, arms back, heels up. Heels down, sweep the arms over. Dive over the legs, head down, and step the right leg back. Warrior one, spin the heel down and lift the arms over. Interlace fingers and press the palms up. Look up if you can. Reach forward, sweep the arms behind you. Warrior three, float the right leg up. Strong standing leg, level hips. Try and balance as best you can. Warrior two, arms out, look over the left hand. Reverse warrior, left arm over, side angle, left arm down, maybe reach it to the floor, sweep the right arm over for the angle, or whatever variation you did on the first side. Half bind, full bind if that's in your practice. Strong legs, lengthen the spine and look toward the right, Look down at your left foot, the hands lower to the inside of the foot, skandasana side lunge, go to the right, back of the mat as you stretch the left leg. Come to center, wide-legged fold, prasarita, hips up, head down, hands down, maybe hands on the waist this time, or any other variation you choose. Hands to the mat, head up, chest up, Pivot to low lunge at the back of the mat, facing the back of the room again. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana, back heel spins down. Sweep the arms over and up. Interlace fingers and press the palms up. Look up if you can. Press the palms forward. Sweep the arms back and fly forward. Warrior three, left leg lifted up. Warrior two, step it back nice and easy, left foot on the mat, foot flat, arms out. Straightening the right leg, triangle pose, turn the arms, right hand down, left arm high. Look left, look up if you can. One more full breath. Look down at the right foot, lower the hands to the inside of the foot, Skandasana, go to the left, bend up at the left knee and stretch the right leg. Prasarita Padatanasana, wide-legged fold, come to center again and parallel the feet, fold over the legs. Option to grab your big toes in yogi toe lock, maybe hold onto the outer edges of the feet or anything else you choose. Lots of variations here. We'll meet in center, hands down, head up, chest up. Pivot to the front in low lunge, face forward, downward facing dog, step back. You can hold or flow through your plank, chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Lift the head up and bring hands to the waist. With a flat back, press all the way up to stand. Keep the hands on the waist. Uddita Hasta Parangushtasana, hand to toe pose. Lift the right knee 
and either hold there in balance or using the first two fingers of the right hand, grab the inside of the right toe in Yogi Toe Lock, press the right heel straight forward, stand tall, keep the standing leg solid. The right knee can bend if it needs to, keep the foundation strong. Rebend the right knee, then let go, lower the right leg, switch sides, shift your weight to the right leg and lift the left knee and either hold it there in balance or grab your big left toe in Yogi Toe Lock. Stand tall, press the left heel through, shoulders over the hips, strong standing leg. Rebend the left knee, lower it to the mat, relax the arms by your side, coming into stillness. Inhale, sweep the arms around, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, dive over the legs, Uttanasana. Lift the head up, chest up, Padangustasana, grab the big toes in Yogi Toe Lock. On an exhale, drop the head down, fold, send the elbows out to the sides. On an inhale, lift the head up, chest up. Exhale, let go of the toes. Walk your hands out for downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. Come on to hands and knees as you settle into a little child's pose, taking a few deep breaths, enjoying a little breather. Come on to your hands and knees, sweep the legs around front, Bending up at your knees, roll down onto your back. Separate the feet and the knees, hip width distance. Slide the heels in under the knees. We'll do a little bridge pose variation, arms alongside the body. Lift the hips up. You can grab onto the edges of the mat or interlace fingers behind the back. Keeping the hips lifted. Raise the right leg all the way up to the sky. Point the toes without letting the leg touch down. Extend the right leg all the way toward the floor. Bring the right knee in toward the chest. Lower your right foot to the floor. Switch legs, lift the left leg up, point the toes, extend the left leg toward the floor all the way. Bring the left knee in toward the chest, lower the left foot, keep the hips lifted. Right leg lifted up, reach it out, knee in, foot down. Switch left leg up, extend it out, knee in, foot down. Switch right leg up, right leg out, knee in, foot down. Left leg up, left leg out, knee in, foot flat. Two more sets, up, out, right knee in, down. Switch legs, out, bring the knee in, foot flat. Last set, right leg up, Reach it out, right knee in, foot flat. Switch legs, out, knee in, foot flat. Lower all the way down onto the mat. Hug the knees in toward the chest. Option to rock a little if that feels good. Maybe give yourself a happy baby pose. 
hug the right knee in, stretch the left leg out on the mat. Nice reclining twist. Twist over to your left side. Drop the right arm out behind you and maybe look over the right shoulder. Return to center, then go the other way. Hug the left knee in, right leg out. Twist over to the right side. Drop your left arm out behind you and look to the left. Or just look up toward the sky. Return to center, hug both knees in again. Lower your feet toward the mat, Supta Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of the feet together, knees out. Option to hold it here if you like for several deep breaths or any other restorative stretch you choose. Otherwise, if you'd like to, you can use this opportunity to take shoulder stand Sarvangasana, lifting the legs up, Without turning your head, keep looking up at your feet. Maybe take a little plow pose, halasana. Returning back out of your shoulder stand as mindfully as you went in. Releasing in fish pose, matsyasana. Option to use a block if you like, as I'm about to demonstrate. Put the block between the shoulder blades if you're using one. Straight legs, chest up, head back, melt the shoulders back. Breathe. If you're in Supta Baddha Konasana, you can hug the knees back in. Windshield wiper the knees or any other counter stretch that feels good here. Let's meet up on the back. We'll hug knees in toward the chest once again. And if there's any other stretch or anything you'd like to do before settling into Shavasana, feel free. Otherwise, lay back, separate the feet, turn the palms up and close your eyes. Nothing else to do, nowhere else to be, just rest. If you have time to spend a little bit longer in Shavasana, I encourage you to do so. Otherwise, I will leave you here. Thank you again for sharing your practice with me. And until we meet next time on the mat, namaste.